day we talked on um, photojournalism. So we had the teens create um, photo essays about topics that are happening in their community. So it can be about uh, pollution, vacant lots, empty buildings, homelessness. Uh, these teens picked these topics and they also went out and took photos that represent these topics in their neighborhood. The main goal of them creating these photojournalism was to tell their story using social media and being able to get their voices heard by adding other important figures that they wanted to reach out to who they feel like would make a difference. If people had a voice, I feel like the world would be a more better place than what it is right now because kids matter too. We're part of the world just like adults are. Photojournalists create pictures that contribute to the news media and help con communities connect with one another. Um, with using as few Im images as possible, they are able to highlight the most important issues of a news story. We started off with talking about what is photojournalism, why we use photojournalism. We also showed the teens um, examples of photojournalism and had them deconstruct the photos so that way they know which frame of the composition was used, um, what emotion was poss possibly given, or what topic or issue what was being shown in the photo. We gave you topics and also the topics that you guys brainstormed a while ago, like the first week. Um, you guys are going to pick these topics and you're going to create pictures that have the meaning of it. We want y'all to think about the pictures that y'all take. Don't just go out snapping pictures of just any anything. Make sure that the picture that you take has some type of meaning and you can explain it. Once we did that, we gave them a worksheet so they can storyboard their own photos um, with the topics that they chose. And once they did that, we allowed the teens to go outside and take photos that represents their topic. So if they did a topic about pollution, they were able to take photos of trash, or if they did a topic about homelessness or vacant lots, they were able to take pictures of abandoned buildings. That's a, a car. Yes. You don't see the wheels. We get the car door. <laughs> you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> what you was gonna say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. We used our DSLR cameras, T5Is. We also let the students use their iPhones as well. We let them use their iPhones because that's something that they use every day. We also gave them the option to edit via the app on their phone or through a computer app, a free photo editing software online. I feel like the skill that young people need to learn about the digital life is the basics of working a camera. Like, that's what it all begins with. What I learned um, was that beautyism, sexism, ableism, they all basically like a type of form of oppression. Photojournalism is important to teach because there are issues in society that the youth can't, they feel like they don't have a voice or a way to express. For example, the election is coming up, they can't vote. Photojournalism is a way they get their voices heard. It's their way of making a change. It's important to teach this topic to youth um, because this is what they're using every day. This is technology and it's growing every day. It's becoming more evolved every day. People are making movies off cell phones. They don't need a DSLR camera to create their pieces or to get their voices heard. They can just simply pull out their cell phone and get their voices out into the community. In my opinion, it's important for the younger generations to get more involved in things like politics um, and voting just because at some point, our parents and our grandparents aren't going to be around anymore, and it's going to really be up to us to help decide like what the world's going to look like, how our government's going to be run, what policies are put in place. The third part of this project, you guys are going to post your photo essays on Twitter. Once you post your photo essay on Twitter, you're going to use hashtags like Team Voices, FSM, um, Our Community Matters, Youth, youth Media, youth media um, Photo Essay. And then you're going to also tag um, the mayor, Lori Lightfoot, because these are issues that, you know, you want your voices heard to the mayor and you want some changes happen. Cool? Cool. All right. If it's anybody else that you want to act, not, not your friends or nobody, but somebody influential in the community that you want to see this, <laughs> Please make the suggestion and we'll tell you if it's okay to add it. We're thinking the next steps could be um, the students are taking their photo essays and actually creating a PSA or a documentary about their topics. Taking the photography aspect and putting it into videography aspect. We should be more confident in what we believe in and be able to share our emotions and feelings. I feel like, you know, people try to make you conform. You shouldn't conform. You should stick to what you want.